Busy day on Blue Marsh. People heading out to go water skiing and tubing. We're coming in. We caught two fish. They're good. Big catfish and a pumpkin seed. <clears throat> Gonna bring the boat around. Gonna drive it right onto the trailer. Put the brake on the truck. Here he comes. And there it is. All right, perfect. Put the engine up. Okay, so we pulled the boat out of the water, and now we have to get it ready for trailering at home. So there's a few things we want to make sure. So make sure we do before we do that. The first thing I want to do is unhook the battery from the trolling motor, so if it accidentally turns on, we don't have the propeller spin. So that's in here. I just have these on wing nuts. You can unhook the wires. There's the negative. So now the battery is unhooked from the trolling motor and it won't accidentally turn on. Next we want to secure the trolling motor. So the trolling motor, you know, we can put into the water and then when it's not in the water we put it up here. But I have this device that goes on here, a ram device, that locks it in place so that it's not going to, uh, you know, move or or uh, accidentally break if we hit a large pothole or something like that. So we simply put that on and twist it down. And now it won't move. Then we just coil this up. Right, we can either leave it on the deck, but I like to tuck it down here. I don't like to transport with this battery in the front when I'm trailering because it's a very heavy deep cycle battery. So it actually goes in the back of the truck when we trail it. So I pull the battery out. Set it in the truck. Okay, we used our dock lines. So what I like to do is just coil them up real easy. Use your thumb and your elbow. And I give the line just a quick twist around to hold it in place and cinch it. And there you have it. And then this, I just tank these over my cleats. If your cleats aren't big enough, you can store them in the container, but they, they don't come off the boat uh, when I'm traveling when I have them hanged like that. Gotta do the one in the back also. Same process. I'm just going to coil it up. Give it a twist. Okay, tackle boxes come out of the boat, they go in the truck. I only brought two of my five tackle boxes. I can never have enough equipment and gear when you're fishing. Always make sure you have suntan lotion. I'm all jacked is my favorite. And here is my anchor. Always carry an anchor in case you break down. I have a hundred foot of line in there and this keeps it from getting tangled. But because it's light it can shift around. I put it in the back of the truck and take off. Fishing rods would probably be okay, but I don't want to lose them, so they go in the back of the truck.
Ride. I always carry a throwable PFD in case someone took a little longer than we thought. That'll blow out of the back of the truck because it's fast. Okay, I'm working my way back. I'm gonna make sure this is tight and locked. So it is good and tight. We want to plug our electric back in. We always unplug it when we put the trailer in the water so the lights don't burn. Now we can strap down the back of the boat. inside the Velcro. We get two more things to do back here. We have to raise the motor, set the stop, keep it from going down. We're gonna take the plug out so any water that we took on will drain out. No water's coming out, so we did well there. Plug goes in the door of the truck. Last thing we want to do before we pull out, I pull my key, shut off all the power. Make sure everything's off. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel.